let me say that I humbly accept this award, but as I always do, it is in the name of all of those original plaintiffs. Millicent Brown et al. included 11 children who in 1963 ventured into the previously all-white schools, um, the first in the state, but um, the judge ruled that only the original plaintiffs could go in in 1963. And I have this available for those who may want to look at the other 10 students, but it was never about just me. It was always about that first group of 11. Um, when I heard about coming today for this uh, award, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if Professor Trotstead was with me? Because we are ironically celebrating the accomplishments of the women's basketball team uh, from the uh, University of South Carolina and uh, for winning the NCAA championship, women's championship. And I thought, would he share with me what I consider to be somewhat of a, of a complex situation in time? Because I said, you know, to play basketball and to become a Dawn Staley or a Asia Wilson, I'm sure there were moments when they were high school players and may have just had a bad day and might have been in a bad mood or tired. And I said, I'm so glad they didn't go to Spring Valley High School. <laughs> because as, as a road cop disguised as a school resource officer, a young, kind of out of it, bad mood youngster was accosted and thrown across the room by this individual. And I thought, if that had been Dawn Staley, who knows? where the University of South Carolina might or might not be today. And so I raise that because I want to share with you concern more so than criticism. But when that incident happened, a stone's throw away from this university, I said, we have a school of law. We have a school of education. We have a school of social work. We have a department of psychology, a department of sociology. Where is this outcry coming? Where is this defense of this young woman? Mm. And I would say this if I were talking to Alan or Benedict or Claflin or Francis Marion or College of Charleston or Clemson, it doesn't matter. I am saying we in education have got to stand up in the travel state tradition. And when we see injustice being done, we've got to stand up in our professional stances and say, not in our name. Mm -hmm. That's not how we educate. That's not what we teach. beg you in the spirit of a great man like Mr. Travelstead that we all commit today that we will not let in our name those kinds of incidents uh, happen anymore and we will let it be known that we do not approve, we don't want to look the other way, we have an obligation. I believe that one of the statements that the professor made said that that children learn from everything they see and hear by observation of our words and deeds. And I strongly believe that. Thank you so much. Thank you.